Orale, que pasa mi raza, what's cracking? Today is Sunday, February 28th, 2021. We're going to talk about Snitch 9. I guess uh, Snitch 9 is accused of cracking a stripper over the head with a champagne bottle. Man, this clown is always doing some lame ass shit. Excuse my language, but uh, yeah, this dude, he really... You know, to be honest with you, I thought part of his uh, parole when I could have swore I was reading up on when he first snitched and all that shit, they were talking about um, when they were going to let him out, that part of his parole was he wasn't going to be able to be trolling people and shit like that. But I mean, right now he's like one of the biggest trolls out there trying to start shit with some rap or some shit. Uh, yeah, this was done by, it was actually published February 27th, yesterday at 2.32 p.m. by Brandon Caldwell. All right. Uh, and it goes on to say about six nines time in Miami may have resulted in yet another legal incident to hit the Brooklyn rapper. TMZ, the Zaza rapper, <laughs> was sued by exotic dancer Alexis Salaberrios on Friday. It sounds like the uh, Puerto Rican last name to me, but it don't matter. Still, you know, part of the Latin community. Friday, February 26, claiming 6 9 hit her with a bottle and missed. So, Okay, there again, how do you hit somebody with a bottle, but yet you miss? <laughs> you know, that doesn't make any sense. So, okay. His actual target, a heckler who called him out for snitching in 2019. <laughs> heckler. Damn, that's crazy. And then, of course, he got him right here uh, on his Instagram, all rainbowed up and shit. This fool got some more rainbow tattoos on him then i don't know man uh he almost looks like a goddamn box of fruity pebbles or some weird ass shit you know but i shouldn't even say that shit it's just this dude's a clown man and it's unfortunate that he even has to be a uh, mexican descent because he just makes our people look bad but uh according to the lawyer david m tarlo uh, Salaberos, Salaber yeah, Salaberos was hit with a champagne bottle. Okay, there again, how was she hit? But at the beginning, they said she missed, or he missed, and required several stitches in her head. Six Nines attorney, Lance Lazaro. It's um, That kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Operation Repo, Vince Lazaro. Remember that? Big old Again, he says that the lawsuit is a money grab and denies his client was part of the situation. Now, I don't know. Here we go. Let's get with the business. There are video cameras in the establishment. So obviously, you know, there's going to be video footage in that type of establishment. I mean, come on now. Lazaro told TMZ it's an attempt to shake him down. Man, that fool. <laughs> if he is served properly, we will immediately move to have it dismissed. Okay, that's Six Nines lawyer talking, you know, that reckless shit. And I guarantee you, man, if they got footage of that dude throwing any type of bottle, they're going to get his ass.
the fallout from 6 9s latest legal case is to be determined, but his actions online have led to the close to him being affected on Monday, February 21st. His ex-girlfriend and mother and their child, Sarah Molina, shared on Instagram how she and her daughter have been threatened online and in the real wor world due to 6 9s and it's man so this fool's even putting his own kids in danger because of the way he acts and wasn't that part of this clown's uh, federal pro uh, probation i mean come on now i could have swore they told him he wasn't supposed to be on that shit trolling like that man and at the end of the day, I really don't give a shit. But what it comes down to is that he's going to get his kids and his, you know, his mom, all that. All them people hurt because of his lame ass acting stupid. At the end of the day, we can all say that he clear, clearly is on a mission, Molina said. For the people who have the nerve to DM, DM me all about this stuff going on. <laughs> Mentioning my child, okay, who is completely innocent. I don't think a four-year-old or a five or six-year-old, no matter around that, that age group, any child, period, should be you know what I'm saying? And that's the truth. They shouldn't be any child for that matter. And um, then it goes on to say about his daughter, so innocent. Let me see. So innocent. She don't even know she's beginning to be called a B online. I'm not even going to say that word, but it actually says it. And you know what, that poor little girl, man, you know, just because her daddy's a damn rat and he still acts like a clown, you know, he's going to get his family hurt, man. Because you know what's going to happen? Like they always do. This is what happens, man. And everybody knows this shit. I ain't giving up game on nothing, you know. Everybody knows if you're streetwise. If you're not, you're not. But if they can't touch you, they're going to touch somebody. You better believe that, whoever's the closest to you. So, you know, this fool, he, you know, that just goes to show that he don't know shit. He ain't streetwise. He don't give a shit. He thinks because he has all that security, he's being selfish because he's just thinking about himself, man. I'm serious. This dude, you know, honestly, you know, what is six nine, man? Seriously, that dude needs some major, major help. And obviously, I don't know what. Even I don't even know if he's still on probation. And if anybody knows more about his uh case, like his as far as his uh probation uh stipulations and shit like that. Do me a favor, um, leave it in the comments. I would appreciate it. And any type of comment you want to drop, go ahead. You're more than welcome to. And uh, I want to thank everybody who's been supporting my channel. Respect, and I'm out. Stay up. This is OG Gordon.